I like to call myself a runner because that's what I do. When life attacks me from all angles, like I'm a paper bag in a thunderstorm, I run. I run from all my problems, tune out all sounds of day and life until the only sound I'm left with is my feet hitting the tarmac, carrying me away, my heart thumping deep within the lonely, hollow cavity of my chest. I run. I do fun runs and marathons to escape cyclonic turmoil, run through rivers in the hope my scent will get lost in the currents. But like a black tracker, my problems find me. They chase me down the way white authorities chase down brown-skinned babies, hold me captive the way this country holds asylum seekers and taunt me, the way my abuser does despite me already. Leaving the scene of that crime, I run. I run through beautiful boundaries that segregate real from true, run into a blur of horizons of sadness and the gravitational pull of a woman going mad. Nice girl to bitch, good guy to asshole. The cycle posing the same question as what came first, the chicken or the egg? And the answer, no one really knows. But personal perspective tells me the nice girl came before the asshole who created the bitch and now I'm stuck with trying to run from her. That beat down beauty, suicidal psycho caught between a western white man's world and ancient Aboriginal antiquity. I run. I run to the hills and sing my praises to my inner child because she reminds me of the beauty of a rainbow in the rain, the excitement of mud between my toes, the happiness of life's simplicity. She is the first pearl in my ocean. I run to the ocean, where all my tears from years past have collected, knowing that if I blow it a kiss, the least it will do is wave back. And if I'm lucky, my salty sweat from all that I have run from will one day bathe me clean. Woo!